They say there's a special place in hell for women who refuse to help other women. But what if women in hell were willing to help other women? This is a story about leaning in, lifting up, and unlocking your true potential using necromancy and the internet. This is the first installment of a little mini-series within our Yours Truly series. Each episode details the correspondence between a modern seeker and a long-deceased voice from the past. In this episode, we find ourselves a fly nestled within the decaying flesh wall of hell, spying on the classified archives of the entrepreneurial demonic endeavor known as Healing Answers and Necromancy Delivered, or HAND if you're a fan of brevity. So, put on an anti-aging, skin-softening, glow-inducing sheet mask, pour yourself an artisanal kombucha, and open your chakras for a tale from the Archives of Hand, or what they like to call the Liz B. situation. Subject, new client inquiry. Hello, hand agency. I'm reaching out to learn more about your mentorship services. I was recently in New Orleans celebrating a sorority sister's engagement. I'm not a part of the wedding party, but I was invited to all of the expensive destination events, so that's fun. And I picked up your card at one of the local curiosity shops. I am intrigued and would love to hear more about what you do. I have read your website, and I can confirm that I am in a state of transition, am open to new perspectives, and I was not and have never been baptized. On a professional note, I work in branding, and I would like to say that I absolutely adore your whole visual identity and brand voice. When I read that HAND stood for Healing Answers and Necromancy Delivered, I LOL'd out loud. It's totally goth meets goop, and I am here for it. So, about me, I'm 33. I'm recently uncoupled. Like I said, I am a director of social media strategy and branding, and I'm looking to be matched with one of your undead influencers. So cute. I would love a strong woman, someone successful with leadership skills, but still feminine and able to connect on girly stuff. Ideally, like a Beyonce or Malala or like a Mal Clooney. Obviously, per your parameters, I'm aware that they do have to be deceased. <laughs> so fun. I hope you will consider my application for one of your top tier ghoul ruse. <laughs> I Venmoed you the $666 fee. Again, adorbs. And I am awaiting next steps. Best regards, Becky Sage White. <laughs> <laughs> to Becky Sage White, re new client inquiry. Good evening, Becky Sage White. It is a pleasure to make your acquaintance. We so rarely get visitors on the homepage of website. Good to know SEO spell is finally reaching full potency. Congratulations, your application has been approved and our necromancers are hard at work 
matching you with your ideal ghoul rule. <laughs> this undead soul, summoned from the depths of hell, will reach out to you in three to five business days via email communication. Once you complete the registration ritual. Step one. Gather all holy relics, symbols, and sacred texts from your home, including but not limited to Bibles, crosses, prayer rugs, framed photos from your birthright trip to Israel, four-leaf clovers, and dream catchers, unless you are white and culturally appropriating, in which case, Knock yourself out. Once you have gathered all of your sacred artifacts, take everything outside and burn them. And then burn the ashes. Step two. Using a blade bathed in dark moonlight, spill your blood or the blood of a loved one onto a patch of earth south of the place where you last take experience the joy or pain, yeah, either will do. Step three, complete our online questionnaire and fill out the Google form to confirm your three-point personal mentorship plan. May you find whatever your heart desires. Hail the Dark Lord! <laughs> Kyle Davison, Associate Director, Hand Customer Service. Two. Becky Sage White. Subject, hello from beyond. My dear Becky Sage White, it was pleasure to be summoned from my unholy rest to make sister acquaintance with professional lady such as myself. So, little bit about me... During life, I was a very powerful woman with much political influence. Um, not to brag, but I was very, very attractive. Almost as if I know age. <laughs> I always follow my own heart and believe in putting myself first. Because if you don't take care of self, how can you ever take care of anyone else? I am sure I will have much good advice to share and many ways to help you fulfill your darkest desires, most sinister cravings, and many of other aspects within three-point plan outlined in application. I see that you have chosen to focus on 1. Advancing career 2. Feel very beautiful 3. Find boyfriend which I love because it's like husband, but more expendable. <laughs> Let's start with easy one. Tell me about career and your plan to advance and conquer enemies. Looking forward to our continued correspondence, my girlfriend. Eternally yours, Liz B. Two, Liz B. Subject, re, hello from beyond. Hi, Liz. So great to hear from you. Let me just start by saying that you are crushing it on the whole undead mentor pastiche. I can't find you guys on Yelp, but when I do, I'm going to give you like probably at least four stars. So I was recently promoted to the VP slash director of social media and brand strategy at Quinoa which is an up-and-coming agency that connects content creators and influencers with influential content brands. 
Obviously, the next step in my career would be to break out on my own and start an even smaller and more up-and-coming branding agency that really speaks to my passions. Branding, content, influencers, fitness, and self-care. However, since I have recently turned 33, I'm starting to fear that I'm losing relevance with the youth. I used to really have a pulse on the next big trend, but now I only have 11K followers on TikTok. And even though I'm verified on Instagram, my posts have started to get way less engagement. Not to mention that I recently set up an account on emerging platform Bisbee. And so far, I only have nine bizzes and almost no bees. I'm worried that I'll lose all my clout and that no one will take me seriously if I have under 40 bees. I'm super worried that the older I get, the less relevant I'll become and my career will die and a younger woman will take my place. Uh, Looking forward to your thoughts. All the best. Becky Sage. To Becky Sage. Subject, re, re, hello from beyond. My dear Becky Sage, while I do not understand many of these things you say, I believe I have the basic picture. You sound like a very powerful leader with many subjects and much influence. I personally have experience with branding my subjects as well. So, it's good to know that branding is still used in modern day to control your peasants. It is indeed difficult for aging women to maintain grip on position of power. Here is my advice to you. Surround yourself with youth. You will want to draw young, poor... Desperate girls, born without means, hoping to increase their standing, lure them to you with promises of education, teaching them poise and courtly etiquette. Swear that in return for their service, you will lift them up from obscurity to great power within your innermost circles. Then... Torture them to death, bathe in their blood, and suck their youthful essence from the marrow of their bones. (sighs) It helped me stay relevant, and I know it will do the same for you. Yours eternally, Liz B. P.S. I'm sure you know who I am by now, no? To Liz B. Subject, re, 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 hello from beyond. Hi, Liz. Your last email was a revelation. I absolutely hearted the analogy that you used. And let me tell you, my internship program is going so well. I now have a full stable of young hopefuls who I am working day and night for free to help keep me on the cutting edge of culture. I have like 400 Bs and I'm now triple verified on Double Dot. I have to say my boss, our CEO of social media and brand transformations is getting pretty jealous. His name is Wesley and he has kind of a Timothy Chalamet meets James Franco vibe, but you know, hot. I have been dropping things and picking them up in front of him for like a month and he still hasn't noticed me. Personally, I think he's afraid of making the first move because of all that HR stuff, but it could also be because I'm simply not hot enough. So I was wondering if you had some ancient holistic beauty tips and or ways to make me feel beautiful inside and out. I mean, obviously out is more important, but you know what I mean. Best, Becky Sage. P.S. I actually don't know who you are. What were you on? To 
Becky Sage. Subject, Eternal Beauty. My dear Becky Sage, you have come to the right place. Beauty tip and trick. I thought you would never ask. So, you have a fine stable of young, fresh flesh at your behest. Your, as you say, internship program has indeed set you up for much success. You will want to pluck from your flock one special girl, someone sad and desperate, to lavish your attentions upon. Lift her up, make this virgin hated among her peers, fill her with delusions of a life such as yours, and when she is ripe with hope, invite her to your home for special one-on-one -on -one time. Then slit open her throat and drink her blood. Bathe in the hot, viscous fluid as it flows from her snow-white breast. Feel free to add a bath bomb or some lavender. Make it a real night just for you. You will emerge steeped in her essence, renewed and imbued with the soul of youth. I also suggest a cooling collagen eye treatment. Great for fine lines. Trust me, after a few, maybe 10 to 15 baths, your Vesley will be unable to control his manly impulses, and his only desire will be to fully obtain you. Eternally yours, Liz B. P.S. I can't believe you haven't figured out who I am. I will give you a hint. I was on the throne in Hungary. Have you guessed the identity of our undead guru? We'll give you a little hint. She met her untimely death, sequestered in a bricked-off room of the castle she once terrorized. Figured it out yet? Or perhaps the suspense is just killing you. We hope it's both. Now back to the archives of hand, the Liz B situation. Two, Liz B. Subject, re, eternal beauty. Okay, so I looked you up and it seems like you might be Elizabeth Bathory. I read your entire Wikipedia page and it was pretty gross. But not as gross as my bathroom after killing all those girls and bathing in their blood. I am never getting my security deposit back. I wish that you'd included some tips for cleanup, but I guess you probably had people for that. Fortunately, my binge-watching of Law & Order SVU totally paid off, and for everything else, there was 4chan. Go ahead and click on that link. You'll love it. Here's the thing. Well, I love where your head is at, and Wesley has definitely been noticing me more, probably because I smell so gross, like hardcore iron supplements. I realize that I need to take some of your advice and modernize it for today's world. After killing the weakest members of my internship program, I was left with the strongest, prettiest, and most confident young women. As I thinned the herd, I watched these strong future leaders become nervous and crippled with dread that I would get rid of them too. I have to say, there is nothing sweeter than draining a young, hopeful woman of her sweet, delicate dreams and aspirations. By day, I empower them. I build them up. I awaken in them facets of their spirit they did not know they possessed. I rub crystals on them. We do goat yoga. Then, by night, I assume a multitude of torturous avatars, and I bring the pain. So I read that you used to cover girls with honey and then throw a bunch of ants on them. Oh, girl, I am sure that sucked. But imagine transforming into an alt-right troll and fat-shaming a young woman's fitness positivity profile. Delicious. Oh, how totally amazing it feels to cyberbully a young idealist's anti-cyberbullying account. Oh, so sweet. 
And while I understand that burning young girls alive, biting their faces off, and poking them with needles has its own old world charm, you seriously have to try catfishing. Allowing a virgin to experience true love for the first time, then mercilessly ripping it away. It's like I kill them, but they are still alive, so I get to kill them over and over. I grow stronger by the day. Love? Rebecca Sage White. P.S. I also read that when you got married, your husband literally had to take your name because you were more famous. Like, hello, feminist icon, Ruth Bader who? To Rebecca Sage White. Subject, re-re eternal beauty. Dearest Rebecca Sage, listen to me. I have been called to advise many, many a young, aspiring professional woman, Catherine the Great, Melania Naus, Ellen DeGeneres, and, of course, Cora Henderson, the world's most prolific serial killer. You don't know her, and you never will, because she is very, very good. But I have to say that out of all of them... I never met anyone as evil, sinister, and cruel as you, Rebecca Sage Ellis White of the House of Quinoa, VP slash Director of Social Media and Branding of Influencers. You have gone far beyond the boundaries of human decency and offended even the most demonic codes of true wickedness. I am appalled. I am disgusted. And, as they say in your modern tongue, I am here for it. Girlfriend, I stand with you on the precipice of true evil empire. Together, we will harness this new source of power, this influence, these many verified bees and multitude of that. I do not know the many incantations you invoke, but I will study. Of course, if you will accept my apprenticeship, your discovery of clean, renewable source of virgin blood is absolute revolution in vampirism. The idea of eternal replenishing youthful essence, it is beautiful. It is goals. Who knew that we could live among humans, violating them horribly and regularly in daylight hours over and over, without breaking any of their laws? Eternal youth, never-fading beauty, watching blood flow from the veins of our enemies. We really can have it all. Oh, also, don't forget, now that you are very beautiful, I can help you with point number three, getting boyfriend. I have much experience as I became betrothed at age of ten and wived at fifteen. So, let's just say, I have a lot of practice tricking man into thinking you don't hate him. Can't wait for your reply. This love, Liz B. P.S. I did not know this word feminism, but I look up on 4chan message site you link to, and I learn many wonderful things. Feminist is man-hating she-beast who seeks to destroy traditional way of life and make women supreme matriarchal oppressors who will bathe society in public breast milk and menstrual blood. <gasps> yes, queen! Could not have said better myself. Lesby. Subject, honoring my path. Dear Liz, 
Hi. Wow. I know I've taken like beyond forever to get back to you. Honestly, things are really blowing up for me. Just like work, work, work. I am fully by coastal now and also opening an office in Atlanta. It's super up and coming. Anyway, I so appreciate your offer to help me get a boyfriend, but honestly, I don't have time for a conventional relationship. I have used my new power of influence to enslave Wesley, so he's been meeting my needs physically and professionally since I also brought a quid pro quo lawsuit against him, had him removed from the company, canceled him on social media, and took over his job. He was annoyed about it at first, but then he saw how much more money I was making, and now he's using his new free time to train for the New York Ultra Marathon and play Halo, which if you don't know is a game where you can swear at children on the internet while pretending to murder people. Anyway, I am super flattered by your offer of eternal service and could not be more grateful for your inspiration and mentorship. And while I definitely meditated on what a future partnership would look like, unfortunately, we will not be able to move forward. I honestly don't think you are right for the Quinoa brand. There are a few problematic things in your past, and I have found your practices to be a little elitist. We can't all be born into nobility. I wasn't just handed a castle when I was 10, so I kind of feel like we aren't coming from the same place. But I do want to sincerely thank you so much for everything. I swear I am going to take up this mantle of evil and just run with it. I promise that I'll spread my cruelty and brutal torture of virgin souls far beyond the borders of this nation to the world and with the help of my new BFF Elon, maybe even to outer space. I want you to know that anywhere you see a Kundalini Keto Yoni Yoga Retreat, or a lotus flower crystal sound bath seminar. I am doing it in your name. Every time I help a woman overcome stretch marks she hadn't noticed, or discover a new source of insecurity, like pondering if she isn't spending enough time being selfish, or meditating on if being skinny is really making her fat, know that I am there drinking in her pain, supping upon the delightful honey of her slowly dimming inner light as her soul slips away until she is nothing but leggings, green juice, and dust. Please respect my journey and know that if this severing of our bond has brought you any pain, I will savor every last delicious drop. Mm. Fondest regards, Rebecca Sage, Alice White, Quinoa Global CEO slash Head of Brand Growth, Transformation Initiatives, Outreach, New Talent Development, and Facilities. And that was The Archives of Hand, The Liz B Situation. We hope you found it inspiring. The cast featured in this episode include Casey LaForest as Rebecca Sage Ellis White, Michael Pate as Hand Agent Kyle Davison, and me, Ali Silva, as the Blood Countess herself, Elizabeth Bathory. The Archives of Hand, The Liz B Situation was written by Liz Lizer and Casey LaForest and directed by Ali Silva, Liz Lizer, and Casey LaForest. Fireside Mystery Theater is produced by Gustavo Rodriguez and me, Ali Silva, for Fireside Mystery Productions. The intro music for this episode was composed by Nico Slater, and the music for The Archives of Hand was composed by Ari Kessler. Liz Lizer is our operations guru. Casey LaForest is our social media maven. Faith Johnson is our production coordinator and Jason Graves composed our FMT theme music. I manage our audio production, post-production, and sound design. 
with additional sound design by Ricardo Delgado. Hey, would you like to listen to our episodes without the ads and help support us at the same time? Become an FMT Patreon patron for five bucks or more per month and you got it. We have all kinds of rewards at different levels, plus a peek into the mind and collections of our very own head writer, Sylvan Sandovar, with his weekly missive exclusive for our patrons. Go to patreon.com slash fireside mystery theater or follow the links from our website to check it out. And to our current fabulous patrons, we could write a million love letters to you and it wouldn't be enough to express our immense adoration and gratitude. Thanks for keeping us going. If you like what we do, rate us and review us. I guess even if you don't like what we do, you, you can let us know. I mean, sure, we are super hungry for positive feedback, but we are open to the constructive criticism too. Always learning and growing, baby. It's been said that the road to hell is paved with good intentions. Therefore, couldn't the road to your own personal paradise be paved with evil deeds? Well, as you honor your sacred path, whilst it intersects with your journey of self-actualization, prying open the rows of your own powerful potential, do make sure you don't stray from the light. Unless it's darkness you seek. In which case, we hope you find the shadows, while everyone else minds them. Thank you.